Hello friends. In this video, I will show you how to design a simple high pass RC filter in Simulink. So to start with, I will first explain what is high pass filter with a simple high pass uh, RC filter using this diagram. I have taken this diagram and these equations from Wikipedia. So you can also go to Wikipedia and see. Here they have explained nicely that this is the RC filter and the equations they have mentioned over here. So let's go to my notes. So here in RC filter, uh, the <coughs> voltage is taken across resistance as the output voltage and the input voltage is given to the RC circuit. So <coughs> our uh, V out becomes current across resistance, so I into R and this is the charge across capacitance becomes V in minus V out and where I, the current is dq by dt. So basically if I try to form my V out, the output voltage becomes resistance into capacitance multiplied by derivative of input voltage minus derivative of output voltage. So in simple words, I will design this equation uh, in Simlink to get the high pass filter. So let's start. So to proceed in this example, I will use the low pass filter which I will use that same example which I have designed in my previous uh, video. The link for which is above, you can see it over here. Or you can even go to my playlist and see the low pass filter which I have designed just pre uh, previous to this video. So in this <coughs> low pass filter as I have shown in that video, uh, I, have I have designed this uh, low pass filter subsystem which finds the <coughs> low frequency uh, filter uh, in the signal. So in this <coughs> simulating model what I have done is I have made two signals, two sine wave. One is the first one is this one with an uh, amplitude of 50 and frequency of uh, 1 radian per second which is the standard signal and which is the actual signal probably which you want to pass on and this is the second signal which is the noise or you can say the high frequency signal where I have given the frequency of around 10 radian per second and this is my plus the added signal so now say for example I have to so in this this particular subsystem is doing what it is doing is it is passing on the low frequency signal to the output so that you can see the high frequency signals this one is filtered out or uh, completely moved out. So in this video let's design another uh, subsystem which will be responsible for RC high pass RC high pass filter yes and to visualize the things probably I will create another scope. Why I am using this same uh, model is because it really helps for you to compare between low pass and high pass and what's the difference. It's, it's easy for a beginner to understand. And in terms of input ports, probably I will give uh, 3. Okay. For the time being, I am not sure how, much, how many I will need. So input to this will become my this signal which is the third one, third input to this. Uh, the summation of both good signal and bad signal. And the output of this will go into the first axis of the scope. Now let's design our uh, subsystem over here. So in subsystem, if I go back to my nodes, so basically what I have to do is I have to design this part over here. So in this part, I need the derivative of input minus derivative of output. So first let me have a uh, some block over here which will add. I'll make it plus minus so and this plus and minus multiplied by RC so I need a gain block over here so I'll just put a gain and gain of probably I'll give this time 0 0.1 and not 1 so that my if say for example my res resistance is 1 ohm and capacitance is 0 0.1 microfarad then becomes a 0 0.1 yeah so this is my V out and this is my V in so now I need uh, to differentiate both so first I will differentiate the uh, derivative of <coughs> V in and uh, I will leave the coefficients as 1 this time and I will again find the derivative of uh, I will leave the gain the default value whatever it is yeah <coughs> so this 
so this becomes a derivative of my v out so this i will just pass it on here and that's it so i think uh, this is the derivative of v in this is the derivative of v out subtracted and then multiplied by this rc and this is my v out so i hope this will work fine so let's uh, uh, run this uh, model and see what it happens yeah okay so first of all first i like to change the layout also something like this so that uh, all the sequence comes in a separate axis i i, I prefer this uh, view yeah so what you can see is over here if I, if i go to the other scope as well this is my original signal with uh, high frequency uh, input and if you see more or less we are able to retrieve the signal from here the only difference is this is also oscillating and the reason for that is if you nicely observe my final signal uh, which i am giving as an input to this uh, high pass filter is this one third one so basically in this you can't see the complete oscillation of this signal uh, but this signal is oscillating at a high frequency and amplitude is varying uh, because of the influence of this so high pass filter is able to retrieve the uh, signal from this uh, high frequency signal from this uh, added signal but the influence of this high amplitude is clearly visible so in case you want to negate that so what you can do is probably we will have to subtract this signal from the signal uh, from the output signal then it will more or less try to will uh, try to will become like this uh, the original signal but one thing which you like to notice over here is whenever you apply this kind of filters there is a some kind of delay which happens in the output so the peak over here is at around uh, between somewhere around 1.7 but over here the peak is before 1 so you can't just directly subtract it you have to apply the same amount of delay to this that's why sometimes this kind of uh, things is better to do it in the frequency domain but although i'm doing it in time domain transient domain it becomes sometimes easy to understand for beginners so what i can do is over here probably i can uh, subtract this uh, first signal so i will again put a add block so uh, what i'll do is i'll just subtract uh, uh, this signal but i can't subtract it directly so I, ha I have to give that same kind of time delay here so to give that kind of time delay i will probably make one more copy of this uh, high, piece, uh, high high pass filter To pass it on to this and this input will go to over here my yes so <coughs> this becomes my uh, yeah and, and i will use the second axis of this uh, scope a uh, scope second uh, scope to see what is my output after this high pass filter what i am expecting is since there is no high frequency signal here it will just pass it on uh, this one as it is so let's see what happens yes that's what i was expecting so if you see the only thing it uh, let's let's first see the second second output of this scope it has just given that kind of shift to this particular input signal what what i was expecting from that uh, high pass filter that rc filter the shift which is getting over here and now when i subtract this uh, from here because uh, then the influence of this <coughs> high amplitude input signal is negated and it more or less is almost like this uh, almost the input high frequency signal yeah so this this is the way you can uh, design a simple rc filter of course my aim was not to show this uh, third signal output but mainly it's the first output which is sufficient for you to show your uh, high pass uh, rc filter and this is one of the simplest way you can design a, a high pass filter in simlink without using any other toolboxes just using basic blocks of simlink yes okay so i hope this video was useful once again i will recommend that please go through my low pass filter uh, video before going through this high pass filter because i have reused that model over here 
and uh, if you have any questions or if you find difficulty in uh, finding my video please put it in the comment section i will help you out on that and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and have a nice day bye